Hello everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel. The title for today's video is How to Nurture Leads Using WhatsApp. Keep watching and I'll give you my thoughts after the break. We're all very familiar with WhatsApp. Uh, WhatsApp has a user base of around 2.5 billion people. So WhatsApp is more or less universal in terms of uh, its reach. What most people don't know is that there is a broadcast list on WhatsApp which enables you to nurture leads for business reasons. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that in my sort of overview that I give in the video today. If you've not subscribed already, Here's a screen of WhatsApp. I've got to be very careful with this video because I don't want to give away actual contacts within my phone. So I'm going to use images uh, uh, that represent, obviously, WhatsApp home screen and broadcast lists without giving away any actual phone numbers. So you can see those images now. What you need to do is go to your home screen where you can see a list of your chats. And at the top on the left, you'll see there's a, an option for broadcast list so you're going to click on that and you're going to create a new list and of from your contact I think I've got like 250 about 256 contacts I can then select some of those people to become recipients of the broadcast list I'm going to add let's say I'm going to add two people or I'm going to add ten people I'm going to use a, an image here just to represent that I've added two uh, two people. But uh, in real life, what I've done is I've created a, a broadcast ten people in, and these are people that are leads. And when I say that, what I mean is, say we've had some business discussions, we've had some meetings, and they are now at a stage where obviously I've spoken to them, I have their phone numbers. So there are people who aren't ready to work with my company at the moment, but they may be ready to work with us in the future. Because of this, I have their phone number. Uh, you need that phone number and they need, to, they need to have added your phone number into their address book for this method to work. Once they've done that, you can then add them into a broadcast list and send them uh, uh, content. And then when they receive it, they'll receive it on an individual basis. And if they reply to it, they reply to it on an individual basis. What I mean by that is they will just receive it as a normal message and they won't know unless you give it away in the text that uh, your message has been sent to multiple uh, recipients. So if you keep it um, uh, clear or you, you, you avoid mentioning lots of people, then obviously uh, you, they'll receive it like a normal WhatsApp message and respond. The beauty of this is that people receive WhatsApp messages every day, of course, and their response rates for WhatsApp messages are very high. So this is a very direct form of communication with people who've already have a relationship with you. Uh, that's why you you have their phone number. That's why you're able to contact them directly. Uh, the content strategy that I recommend for WhatsApp broadcast lists is one piece of quality content per week. Uh, usually, best if it were uh, it works usually as a a visual piece, so a video clip or. Uh, an image sent through to them that's something that's relevant to them uh, as a way of keeping you front of mind with them and when they come round to the time that they are ready to buy your services your company's services you'll be front of mind and the messages weekly messages will have had their desired results uh, what I'm actually doing is sending out one message a week and I'm getting responses from a couple of people because it's on WhatsApp I can look at the uh, blue arrows see who's received uh, my messages open received uh, and then I can t assess the level of, uh, of response that I'm getting uh, if people are not receiving your messages it may be because they haven't added your phone number as a uh, into their address book that's uh, key for this method to work so as I try and do always on this channel brought you another method of generating new business for your B2B businesses and for your businesses uh, also B2C, you can use these techniques um, that's not widely spoken about 
uh, you have to be careful not to send too many messages because people will start thinking it's spam and you have to be very relevant I think relevancy is the key then your messages will be received and have the desired effect which is to continue relationship and building up rapport with leads until their time to come into the market and when they come into the market they're more than likely going to contact you because you've had an ongoing relationship with them. I hope this has been useful to you. Thanks for watching all through. If you've liked this message and if you've liked this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you're not subscribed already, click on one of the two screenshots to watch another video. I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.